Hi guys, so today I'm coming to you with a kind of combo video. It's uh, April favorites, um, plus a haul, plus a little skincare warning or tips or whatever. Uh, if it's a little loud, that's because I am in my room and you can hear my uh, neighbors outside. It's a gorgeous day outside, so they're all playing around. Um, I'm obviously sitting in my bed, you guys can tell. Uh, today, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about was skincare. Um, you guys can see I have a band-aid here, and I also have one here, and that's because today I had to go to the dermatologist and get two, um, skin biopsies done to double check that, um, to check them basically for cancer or pre-cancer. Um, it's not cryptic, I'm sure that it's all fine, they were caught very early, um, so knock on wood, I hope that they're, you know, all okay, but just basically a warning, these two spots that, um, that they had to take biopsies from are spots that I, um, you know, are always exposed to the sun, and I never, ever, ever think to, you know, stick on sunscreen, and I'm such a stickler about sunscreen on the face, but I never think that you need to put it everywhere else, I always think of sunscreen as something that you need if you're going to the beach, or if you're going out, or going something like that. So, um, you know, the procedure for a biopsy is not, not hard, but it's not fun. I mean, you get a really long needle right there, I mean, wh wherever it is, but really long needle with some novocaine or lidocaine in on the area, and then they just kind of cut the, cut or scrape it off, and it takes two weeks to get results. Um, it's not worth getting a tan and getting, um, any kind of sun or color is really just not worth the damage that you're doing to your skin. Um, I don't tan, I burn. So that's kind of where a lot of this is from. I definitely, you guys need to wear sunscreen every day all over the place. I bought a bunch of sunscreens. I have SPF 100 for the body. Uh, I think it's Banana Boat. Um, I also have the spray, so I can put that on a little easier. It's not fun, I know, but if you could just work it into your normal routine, um, it's going to save yourself a lot of sun damage. Cause, uh, it's going to save yourself a lot of damage and... Um, I'm worried, basically, in the future, because sun damage is not something that you can, um, something you could reverse. Uh, for my face, uh, I use the Neutrogena Healthy Defense, and this is the SPF 50 Daily Moisturizer. I'm looking for something else, uh, basically because lately I found that this leaves me a little oily. This is all I have on right now, and you guys can tell that I'm just looking a little shiny. Uh, I don't have any makeup on because I just came from the dermatologist and I need to check out spots on your skin so I didn't want to cover anything up. Uh, something I did find, and this is into my, enough of the depressing stuff, this is into my favorites, uh, this month was from Sonia Kashuk and it's a radiant tinted moisturizer. And this does have an SPF of 15. You need to have at least a uh, SPF of 15 on your body and at least 30 on your face. So since I'm already using um, the SPF 50 on my face, so 15 is just an extra barrier to add on. This wouldn't be okay if this was just it, but it's a nice bonus. Um, this color is in fair. Let me tilt this down so maybe you guys can see it a little better. It's very sheer. Let me even guys. It's a very, very light sheer coverage. This was $12.99, I think. Let me try to get this. There we go. It's very sheer, very light coverage. It doesn't have a weird smell. No, it doesn't have a weird smell. It smells like a little sunscreeny. So that's it. You guys can see it there. Um, it smooths right in. And you can see there's no lines, no crease, nothing like that. It matches. Um, it doesn't. It's not going to be something that you can use instead of foundation, but it will be something that on a warm day a warm summer day, anything like that, you could smear some on and it'll just even out your skin tone. As you can see, I have a lot of redness, not so much um, acne or anything, but a lot of redness, so this helps to just even out skin tone. Um, it's $12.99 at Target. You could check if you could find any coupons. Sometimes if you use your debit card a lot, you might get coupons back uh, from Target, and that is usually, you know, nice to help with, but $12.99 isn't bad for um, $1.75 ounces. Uh, the only problem with this is that this is the lightest color and it looks lovely on me, I think. Uh, it matches very well and it's not yellow or anything like that. But the only problem that I find is that I think there's only four shades. And the darkest one is really more like an olivey tan. So if you're darker than that, I don't think that there's one that's going to accommodate you, which is not very fair. Something else
else in the realm of skincare that I've fallen in love with this week is this month is the Aveeno Active Natural Skin Relief um, Lotion, and that's for my arms. Uh, I've had a little bit of itching lately, and the dermatologist recommended this. My dermatologist recommended this. Uh, it has shea butter. It's fragrance free, and it has oat essence. Um, I put this on after the shower, and it helps with any kind of skin issues. If you're using a lot of stuff in the summer, a lot of different products, you could end up breaking out. This is good. Uh, it helps anyone with any kind of itchy skin. Uh, another product is the Neutrogena Naturals Lip Balm. And this was from the free sample thing from Target. And this is it right there. And it doesn't have a scent or anything like that, and, but it just feels very nice. I put this on before I go to sleep at night. Uh, and oh, another sun care product that I got. I got this sample from Sephora. And this is uh, from Philosophy. And this is Hope Oil Free instead of Hope in a Jar. This is Hope Oil Free with SPF 30. I like this a lot. I'm going to keep trying this. Um, this is for normal to oily skin. I'm going to keep trying this and see if it's better than the Neutrogena in terms of oiliness. If it is, I might switch to this. Uh, some other favorites for this month. Uh, would be the Laura Geller Banish and Brighten Concealing Luminizer, and this is from my Hope. And this I think is really cool. I do not know the price of this, I'm sorry. But it says, um, use the cooling applicator to pat and smooth from the outer corner of the eye inward. So basically, this is a concealer. It's not a heavy concealer, but it's a brightening concealer. So this is in the color Fair or Light. And that's the color right there. And if you just smooth it out, you can see like it has a pearly essence. Let me see if I can. So it doesn't completely get rid of the under eye thing, but it does give a little brightness and kind of bring um, some light there to take away the darkness. It also has a really pretty floral scent. Um, not too like floral, but I think it's pretty. Uh, another thing I found, oh this is a long video, I'm sorry, uh, that I've loved this month is the Solid Perfume in Lust from Lush. Uh, I think this is $8.95. It's like red, it's very solid. I kind of mushed it up on accident. Um, but it smells like, like jasmine and things like that. It's very pretty, very floral. And I have it all over me. Uh, I've also found uh, a new base coat for my nails, and that's Orly Nail Armor. And I love that it has silk fibers in it. You do two coats, it keeps your nails very thick. If you hear that clicking, that's my nails. Uh, the color I have on right now is an Essie color, and the name is um, H A U T E, which is pronounced oat, as, a co uh, as referenced by my French teacher. So it's oat as hello. And you guys are seeing it in this light, it looks kind of peachy. Um, in real life right now, it's a lot brighter uh, in real life. This is a little peachy, but it's very bright in real life. Uh, another thing that I fell in love with was the Revlon Scented perfume, uh, scented Nail Polish, and this is in Raspberry Rapture. And this is a pretty color, but the awesome thing about this is that it smells like raspberries when it dries. They have a lot of different scents, I think like cotton candy, green apple, stuff like that. But this smells like raspberries, and it's lovely. It doesn't have that chemical smell when it dries. And something else that I've fallen back in love with, um, I was so unsure about this when I first got it, and I know you guys know that, um, but that would be Max Toxic Tail Lip uh, Lipstick from the Venomous Villains Collection, and that was this crazy coral color. I wanted this color because I thought it looked so gorgeous in the tube. I wasn't paying any attention to it um, all winter, but now that it's spring, I stuck some on the other day and I thought it looked gorgeous. So this is back in the running. Some other things I wanted to give you guys a heads up with, not necessarily um, not necessarily favorites of the month, but just stuff that I thought you guys might be interested in. And these are not makeup, these are like fashion. Um, something that I found. Uh, a sandal that is supposed to be very popular this year is the um, Stuart Weitzman Alex sandal. 
Uh, they're very pretty wedges with braided straps uh, with like khaki colors. Uh, they're gorgeous, but they're $395. Since I don't have that, I found, uh, with the help of Lisa Lisa D, I believe, on YouTube, I watched a video, and I found a Steve Madden copy, and these are the Steve Madden Fantastic in the khaki fabric. And this is what they look like. They are a braided... A braided... Uh, I'm sorry, my neighbors are crazy. A uh, braided wedge on the bottom. It's very pretty, very pretty, pretty. Uh, it has this platform and a raised toe. It has padded toe here and a nice braid. And the way these straps go, these straps cross like that and buckle like that. So this is what it looks like when they're on. They are adorable on. They're pretty comfortable. Um, I'm, you're not going to run a marathon in them, but I think they'd be a little more comfortable if you put like maybe a little toe pad here. The one complaint I've heard people say is that they find them tight on the ankles. Uh, I do have to put them on the last the last hole in here, but I don't have a problem with that. They're um, I think normally $80. Uh, you can get them at Macy's, DSW, Steve Madden. Um, I found them at Macy's for $80, then they were on sale, they were $10 off, and then I had a, another $10 um, gift card left over from Macy's, so I ended up paying $20 for them. So I really love those, and I think they're going to go with a lot of things this summer. Uh, another thing that I found that I'm going to start trying out is the Olay Pro X uh, cleaning system, advanced cleaning system, and this is kind of supposed to be the Clarisonic Mia dupe. Um, Clarisonic Mia is $150, this is $28. My mom picked this up because she thought it was something I would like, which is pretty awesome of her. Um, it has two speeds instead of the four, but it, and it has batteries, it's not rechargeable. Um, but this is definitely something to try out. Right now I'm going through the purging phase, which is when you start, um, with a new skincare system and all the gross stuff comes out. So, I can't really give you an accurate report yet, but so far it's pretty cool. Um, some other things that I found in stores, and I'm going to be quick because I want to keep this under 15 minutes. Um, I went to H&M and found a really cute skirt. And this is it. And this was only $12.95. My issue with skirts in the summer is that they're always um, too short or too long. They're never the right length. And this, I think, is the perfect length. It has the thick, thick elastic band so you could wear it up around the waist for that high-waisted look. But you're not going to look, um, it's not going to be too short if you do that. You could wear it up. Let me show you. You can wear it up. I'm wearing shorts, by the way. You can wear it up high around the waist like this, and it's still going to fall um, to your knees. It's a cute pattern. It has the peach colors. It has a little bit of green, some blue, black. There's some yellow in there. Um, and this is $12.95. And they have about six different um, colors of this. And they have them in plain jersey, too. So I think this will be really cute and nice and breezy for summer. In Target, if you could check out the clearance racks in your Target, you should. Because the clearance racks all say 30% off, but when you scan the items on the price scanner, they're actually far cheaper. This is one shirt I got. And it's floral. It looks a little um, simple or dowdy on here. Uh, it has a really cute zipper. This is the back. The zipper down the back. So it has a V front and V back. It looks a little plain, maybe a little dowdy, but when you actually wear it on, it's so flattering. The cut flatters the chest area, it um, smooths out over your stomach, I think it's really cute. And it also comes in a dark blue with birds and a white with um, peach roses. Uh, it is normally, I think, $15. I got mine for $10, but I saw them last week for $7. Uh, another floral shirt, because I am a sucker for floral shirts. Everything got twisted up. I found was this one. And this is also at Target. And this has... This I saw in, in stripes and plain and stuff there too. Uh, and this has some lace detail here. Looks like a, a sheer area. This is really cute. It's so flattering. It covers your stomach. This is just the back. covers the stomach so nicely it just kind of flutters over it and it's really cute 